All right, so uh, yeah, I'm I'm Bart Lorang, the CEO and co-founder of Full Contact. Full Contact's mission is to solve the world's contact information problem. Um, we like to say that if you've got an address book, you've got an address book problem. Mm -hmm. um, you know, whether it's multiple address books across different social networks, multiple devices, desktops, um, it's a real mess. And I think we all experience this. We've got duplicate contacts, we've got incomplete data. Um, it's just scattered everywhere. Um, businesses also have this problem too, not only from their employees, but from organizationally. Um, you know, we've got CRMs, we've got um, you know ESP applications, we've got support desk applications, we've got accounting applications. It's all scattered everywhere. Uh, Full Contact is fixing that problem by providing um, a service that brings all your address books in one place and keeps your contacts automatically up to date. Yeah, I mean, we've actually taken an interesting approach to the market in that we're building everything we do as an API first, recognizing that eventually people want to tap into all of this, right? We can't build everything. Um, so we sort of have our core, um, we start with just APIs that people build on, and we slowly build a very specific user interface for certain elements of our service. But mostly developers build on what on the plumbing we provide. Um, and then we're really rolling out our end user offering in a few months. Yeah, I mean, uh, so in the last 10 years, uh, a lot of uh, new contact forms have, have sprouted up, whether it's my Twitter handle or my, my Facebook URL or my LinkedIn URL or my Foursquare URL or whatever. Um, and these are sort of interesting um, publicly rendered um, contact details, photos, names, and things like that. So what we are, the approach we take is to say, okay, look, grab all those publicly available contact methods or contact details and we append those to contact records via an API. So it's essentially like searching for somebody very, very quickly uh, on Google but in a structured way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and those are our biggest customers in terms of uh, that big market of CRMs in general or social CRMs. Uh, tons of CRMs, not marketing automation systems and support desk applications consume our API to have these magical sort of social profiles that appear uh, inside the app. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's actually the paid paid vacation policy, oh. but uh, yeah, I mean that was a that was a fun experience. Uh, it's something we released uh, last July. Um, it was just a thing that had been um, festering in me for about a decade of uh, saying, you know, um, one, I think that we work incredibly hard in the tech industry, we work really long hours, we're always connected to our, our devices, and um, we wanted to give a benefit to our employees of saying, look, you need to disconnect from full contact for a while, and I'm going to give you an incentive to do it. Um, and so. Uh, what we did is we gave every employee seventy five hundred dollars in addition to their their existing salary when they actually go on vacation. So um, the rules were they had to disconnect and unplug from the grid. They uh, couldn't work while on vacation, and they had to take a vacation to get it. Um, and so that blog post and then the corresponding press just exploded internationally. Um, it was just crazy for a few months. We got like over 5,000 applicants for our company. Um, <laughs> it was insane. Um, and it still is insane. And we just get people coming all the time um, to full contact. And so it was, it was a good, it, it was really started out as a retention strategy to make our company better and our business better. But then it turned out to be this wildly successful recruiting strategy. That's great. It is a great strategy. Can you tell me how it's impacted? Do you think your productivity and the overall organization have you think it's had a positive impact? Yeah, I mean, you know, qualitatively, um, you know, people just come back very refreshed, very energized. I took an off the grid, actual honeymoon for the first time in my life, and I came back just so energized and so charged up because I was just disconnected and craving um, sort of that stimulation. Um, people come back really relaxed, really ready to go. Um, the number, you know, we don't, we have, ha haven't had any employees leave the company, um, haven't had any churn, 
Um, the, obviously, the, the partners and families and spouses really love it. Um, it's just been a wonderful, wonderful thing for everybody. And, and, and psychologically, people think about that vacation money as separate from their actual normal compensation. And they think, wow, I can now go to, to this great European vacation or this amazing surf vacation that I never had budgeted before. So we're almost sort of budgeting for employees, which is an, an interesting phenomenon. So people are really going to enjoy their vacations um, uh, now more than ever, I think. Yeah, so um, we actually re just released a mobile um, application we, we like to call Card Shark, which is just a native I iPhone app. And that iPhone app basically takes uh, photos of business cards and pushes them directly to Salesforce and your full contact account. And it uses actually human transcription to do it um, so that it's 100% accurate. We use several human beings to actually transcribe the card because uh, standard OCR methods just aren't, aren't, aren't accurate enough. But we've basically taken a, a native approach uh, we've looked at HTML5. We just haven't we haven't experienced really great UX with HTML5, and we feel that really integrating natively gives the best performance and the best uh, experience. It takes longer, but uh, ultimately, you know, you got to take a long term view of these things. Sure. You mentioned um, iOS. Do you have plans to release something on on Android as well? Yeah, we have plans on Android and actually BlackBerry um, for the future in the next quarter or two, you'll see some stuff from us. Um, but right now, because we, we've taken an API first approach to everything, people can actually people are actually starting to build sort of these apps on our infrastructure right. and just various things, like if you email cards at fullcontact.com from any device, it just works. Uh, just have a photo. So it just works cross-platform, but we will be releasing native native apps for those platforms. Yeah, I mean, Techstars, we were Techstars Boulder in 2011, um, and that was just a phenomenal experience. Um, you know, we, we, we thought we were a bunch of smart guys that started Full Contact, but when you get exposed to, you know, all the mentors and the other teams, you sort of, uh, your, your ego takes a bashing um, in terms of the, so the, 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 the mental and mentor whiplash. Uh, and Techstars, in terms of the network, is just phenomenal. You have the smartest minds in tech at your fingertips. Uh, you can get introductions uh, very quickly. Uh, and really, the, the Techstars um, group and the, the Techstars community really vets your business. And it's a really amazing crucible for entrepreneurs to go through. Um, uh, while uh, you're starting your business. Yeah, so um, right now we're in a massive push to release our end user product, um, full contact offering. So we, you know, different individuals can use it um, to sort of consolidate all their address books into one place and then share um, contacts with other people. Um, we like to say what Dropbox did for files and what Evernote did for notes, full contact is doing for contact. So we're really in this massive push to get that out the door. Um, and we've got a ma an amazing API behind it that we'll probably release um, you know, a quarter or two later um, you know, after we make sure all the endpoints are, are accurate and valid and don't change. Um, and that's really what we're, we're doing right now. Our existing API business is growing nicely. Uh, we don't foresee that changing. Um, but really want to, to deliver a great user experience to users uh, with our full contact sort of end user offering. Yeah, that's great. I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that because I've, I've played around a little bit and it seems like the, the user interface is really well thought out. And I, I won't mention any other names, but other CRMs that I've worked with in the past, it's just the whole experience is absolutely um, overwhelming. And I can't imagine, you know, there's really talented salespeople out there, sales market people that are not really technical. Um, it right. seems like that they've they put up a lot of roadblocks to, to make their product useful, and it seems like you guys have addressed a lot of that. Sure, yeah, and I appreciate I appreciate that. I, I'm always my um, own worst critic, so we're we're continuing to refine, continuing to simplify. You know, it's the old adage that simple is really really hard. Yes, and trying to remove things constantly. Uh, it's a never ending quest for us to make it stupid simple. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I like to hear. Oh yeah. Well, we we appreciate it, Bart. Um, that was a lot of good insight, and thank you for for joining us. So we look forward yep. to hearing more great things about uh, full contact. <laughs> Thanks for having me, guys. Absolutely. Great. Great. Take care. Thanks a lot.